what's good everybody welcome back to another my name toys video today ladies and gentlemen we're diving into one of the video series that i actually love on the channel it's something that i absolutely love if you guys watch wwe action figure surgery if you've been around the channel for a while if you've watched any mdt you know that one of my favorite things about collecting and wwe action figures aew figures all the different things is taking the figures that we get from mattel fixing them up combining parts from other figures to make ultimate fix-ups to make the figure that much better to tweak it in a way to kind of create your own fantasy gear, your own fantasy fix-up, you know, comparing and contrasting different figures to make other figures upgraded, basically. And today, we got another series of that, man. 2022, kicking it off hot with some brand new WWE Elite figures and also how you can fix them up and how you can switch up to improve your collection. So, I hope you guys do enjoy. Let's go ahead and dive into some of our new WWE figures and talk about how you could upgrade them or former figures that you've already got in your collection. So, starting off first, guys, let's start off with Ultimate Edition Batista, a figure I'm very much very much interested in if i find i'm gonna buy the i i ooh, i don't know man i want to buy this every single time i see it so i'll have to see about that that will be up in the air there but batista right here ultimate edition i'm just saying head swaps man head swap season man we're just throwing head swaps all over the place using these different head swaps and putting them on all kinds of different batistas i'm talking hall of champions batista i'm talking elite series 30 elite series 2 elite series 6 i know elite 2 and elite 6 even elite 30 i, f I feel like all elite Batistas are pretty sought after, to be honest with you. But if you just get in these Batistas, man, and head swap them, I think you're going to be pretty damn impressed. I, and also, since they're making an Ultimate Edition of Batista, doesn't that mean that they can make other versions of Batista? Like, why are we not pumping out Batista like it's going out of style? I don't understand that whatsoever. Get this man in the Legends line. I know this is a Legends Ultimate Edition, but get this man into the Legends line. Get this man into the Main Elite line. Get this man into the freaking sublines, Royal Rumble, WrestleMania. We need more Batista elites, damn it. And this is where it starts. Ultimate Edition Batista. Fix it up with your head swap. Next up, we have this god-awful basic edge, but I will say you could take this edge head sculpt. You could put it on the Elite 83 edge. You could put it on the Ultimate Edition, you could put it on a, you know, put it on a jeans figure and make that. You could even put it on, I don't know, man, you could just kit bash, right? You, this is a perfect promo gear for Edge. I know a lot of people say, you know, promo gear is great for basics, but in this case, I don't know, man, put it on Elite. I can't stand the basic figures. I just want to chunk them out in my yard and let them get run over by everything imaginable. Put the Edge basic, convert it to an Elite somehow, you know, put the head sculpt on an Elite and just see what that goes for. You know, if you put it on the Cesaro, you know, hairy chest torso, that would do wonders. And then sticking that on like the Elite 83, you know, like the one we've seen for my collection there. I think that would be great. Next up, we have Elite 93 T-Bar. Now, this may not work out. It kind of, to me, it looks like the Dijakovic head sculpt from the basic seems to be a different skin tone than the T-Bar. But you might as well, you know, chunk a Hail Mary and see if it works. If you find this figure or, you know, if you pre-order T-Bar and you already have the Dijakovic basic, you might as well just attempt it, you know, just to see if it works, just to see if the skin tones match. The skin tones don't look like they match, but uh, it may be one of those cases where you want to try it. Maybe you have an extra Macho Man torso and arms laying around. Maybe you throw that onto these legs or something, or maybe some other double-jointed arms and make an elite Dijakovic in the thing. I don't know, man. I'm just playing around with it there. Not my favorite fix-up in the video, but I did want to mention it. If anybody wanted to attempt that, I think it might be cool for a little hybrid Dijakovic action there for the T-Bar. Now, for Seth Rollins Elite 93, this one's going to be insane, right? You could put the damn Elite 86 head sculpt on there. You have that battle pack with Drew McIntyre head sculpt. You could put that on there. You could put the top talents, the old one with the smiley long hair on there. You could put the damn Elite 37 head sculpt on this body. You could put the, you know, the, the freaking fan takeover style head on there. So many different head sculpts for Seth Rollins right here, man. This is beautiful. This is what we like to see. Now, you could, it, not only can you put other heads on this Elite 93 body, but you can also put that ponytail like yelling head sculpt that this figure comes with put that on your elite 86 put that on your fan takeover put that on your other you know uh promo rollins there's so many different ways you could do it man elite 93 rollins gonna be one of those contenders probably gonna be a top 10 figure of the year we'll have to see about that you know that rubber jacket's pissing me off but all the different head sculpts gets me excited we'll have to see how it comes in but elite 93 rollins did make the list next up this one's very outside the box and i don't even know if it's gonna work but the elite 93 raquel gonzalez this one for me has me thinking put a ronda rousey head on it 
or a Becky Lynch. Now, again, this goes back to Dijakovic. It doesn't look like the skin tones are going to be that much different. I think, I don't know, I, I think Becky and Ronda are the exact same skin tone, but to me, like, the, the torso and the arms of the Raquel don't seem to match her face that well. I feel like the face may be a different skin tone than the torso, and that may help you out if you're trying to put that Ronda Rousey head or that Becky Lynch head onto this body. It may create a really cool alternate gear for your Becky or Ronda. If you want to take the Raquel, take it off. You could put a bunch of different heads on here that, you know, women that don't have tattoos. There's not a lot of women in WWE that have a ton of tattoos. I think Lita and maybe Paige are like the only two that really stick out in my mind. Outside of that, you don't have a ton of tattoo, you know, tattooed women running around, I guess, especially now with Ruby Riot being gone. I mean, there there's not none that really come to my brain. Maybe besides like some little heart tattoos and stuff like that, Shayna Baszler maybe. But if you take the Raquel Gonzalez head and put a Ronda or Becky on there, I think that'd look fantastic and give you like a really cool alternate gear or maybe even a, you know, like a promo gear for them. So there, there's something like that. I feel like women, most, most of the ladies that are on WWE television switch their gear every single match. So there's that. Next up, we have Elite Series 93 Cesaro. I'm just head swapping it. I can't believe they gave us this head sculpt once again. We've seen this head sculpt so many times in the past, man. I mean, Elite 58 Cesaro basically had the same exact head. We've seen the basic multiple, multiple times. This is one of those that I am just sick of seeing. So, and it, it's really unfortunate because it's been so so long with this head sculpt. That there's not really any you could switch it with, man. It's it's that kind of annoyance here. So, you know, you, you, you could take your Elite 23 or your Elite 33 and put that head on here. But I don't know how much you're going to get out of that, man. I really don't. Uh, also, those heads may be a bit undersized for this torso size. You know how the proportions are kind of weird. They changed the formula for Cesaro. They used to give him really skinny arms, really skinny legs, and then they switched it over to the thicker side in Elite 47, then, you know, all the things bouncing around, all the different things, so that's kind of just what happens, you know, but uh, sometimes you just gotta, you know, make with the, make do with what you have, and that's kind of what we have to do here, but I am excited to upgrade our Cesaros, and this should be a fun one. Hopefully, we can fix him up somehow, whether it's, you know, different body parts, swaps, head swaps. I just need, like, a pissed off or determined Jason Statham style, you know, Elite Cesaro is what I need. Now, moving on, guys, we also have the Top Talents Rock figure. Now, I'm, I'm all about the Ultimate Edition here, man. Putting the Ultimate Edition Rockhead sculpts on this figure is going to do wonders for it. I really, really, really wish they would have just put the Yelling Head sculpt on here or one of those Ultimate Edition heads because it really bring this thing to life because, you know, that thing's so hard to come by. It would have been a perfect opportunity to maybe throw two of the Ultimate Edition heads in there with the jersey. Top Talents figure would sell like freaking pancakes and sausage. You just got to get it in there, but they decided not to go that route. Very unfortunate, but, you know, putting those Ultimate Edition heads on this guy is going to help this out because this is the Elite 69 Rock head. What are you going to do, man? It's pretty unfortunate. So, uh, you know, that's that's something that you definitely want to do here. Throw some jogging pants on this Top Talents Rock. going to be really, really nasty. But uh, moving into the last figure, and I think we, I, I want to say we plugged this in in a different video because we saw the render image for this Top Talent Ray, but now that we've seen it in full plastic form, switching the hands with the white hands and then switching the boots with the Elite 72 boots with the black and white stripes with this light pink gear and black contrast is going to be disgusting. It is going to be so disgusting to see, and uh, by disgusting, I mean very fresh. It's going to be sick AF. It's probably going to be one of my favorite figures of the year because, you know, it's a repaint but it's a very nice repaint. We like to see repaints when they're necessary and when they look really good. I love that this has something different about it, a gear that we haven't really seen from Ray. So that'll be really nice to see, especially when you combine it with those gloves, the boots, all the different stuff. This should be really good. But that is the last fix-up I have for you is the Top Talents Ray. So all these different fix-ups should be really fun. The, the one that I'm low-key really excited about is Raquel Gonzalez, man. I was never really a big fan of her, but I will have to grab some extras of her figure to do those fix-ups because I'm very interested to see how the Ronda or the Becky Lynch head sculpt look on this figure and it should be really fun. So we, we got a lot of figures coming soon that I'm excited to do fix-ups with AEW and WWE so that'll be really fun. Hopefully those things come to pass and we can get those things going but that is going to wrap it up man. If you guys missed our action figure surgery from the last few days definitely go check that out. I greatly appreciate it but I'm getting out of here man. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you and don't cross the line like, I don't know, maybe the T-Bar Elite. He's crossing the line a little bit. That Edge Basic, damn it. He, he, he crossed the line as soon as he freaking just got designed on the computer, man. You crossed the line. I've been